In this video, I'll teach you how to use alpha lock in just two minutes. So let's start at the beginning. What is alpha lock? If you apply alpha lock to a layer, then you'll only be able to draw on that layer where pixels already exist. It means you are locking the transparency of the layer, or the alpha. So if we look at this layer, as soon as I draw on it, I can draw anywhere. And if I apply alpha lock, what it means is that I'll only be able to draw inside what already exists on that layer, like so. So here's how to apply the alpha lock to a layer. Firstly, select your layer, and then from the drop down, select alpha lock. And you'll know it's worked because the little thumbnail of your layer will now have a grid pattern in the background, which means that you can no longer draw where that grid pattern is. So if you go ahead and draw on top of that layer now, you'll see that wherever you draw is now confined to what already exists on that layer, which I hope you'll agree is very useful. Now I use alpha lock mainly to quickly change a layer's fill color. This means that if I have a layer that has a grain texture, I can quickly alpha lock it, fill the color, and know in confidence that I have changed the color of every pixel on that layer. And that's generally how I use alpha lock. Now I don't use alpha lock to draw directly onto a layer. The reason being is that it's permanent. So if down the line a client comes back and wants me to change something, that's going to be really difficult. I'm going to have to redraw the layer. A better way to do that is to use a clipping mask, um, and that way it's non-destructive. But I won't cover that in this video. Um, instead, I'll leave a link here to my tutorial on how to use a clipping mask, which will also be two minutes long. If this video was useful to you, please subscribe, please leave a comment, um, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.